my name is Javier Lanfranchi, broadcasting live from Facin Group Factory in Visano, Italy, and this is our exclusive webinar. But before we get started, a few words from our CEO, Mr. Andrea Ceretti. Good day to you. First and foremost, I would like to thank personally all the people that have decided to invest their time to take part in this executive event. The objective of Facin Group today, as always, is to find ways to be close to its customer and potential clients keeping them up to date with its latest <coughs> endeavors. We would like you to know that it is our core mission to stay at the forefront of technology and innovation, and above all, to maintain great relationship with those who have trusted us and our products for so many years. Thank you. Before we start with the presentation, we would like to thank you all for the questions you have sent during the registration. You can also send your questions or comments during the webinar using the chat section on the right hand side corner of your screen. We will do our best to answer as many questions as possible during the Q&A at the end of the webinar and certainly after. So without further ado, let me now introduce you to our special guest, Mr. Rino Boldrini, that is now part of the Facin Group organization. So Rino, I would like to kickstart this webinar with a direct question. What is the drive uh, of you to come back, back to, to your origins? origins? Hi, Javier. First of all, I'm very pleased to be here today. I will we'll go, go straight, straight to the, the point. point. I have been working for a great part of my work life in industrial machinery for metal forming. I have followed the commercial and technical development of some of the most important equipment in the market. Just to give you some example, dish impress 1,000 ton force, 10 meter span between the columns with automatic manipulator and CN. Dish impress 1,200 tons with the automatic manipulator CN capable of working in a hot and cold condition. Flanging machine capable of flanging up to 80 millimeter thickness, material 516 grade 70, and maximal knocker radius of 1,000 millimeter. Rotex, hot spinning machine. It's a unique piece of equipment capable of uh, doing hemispheres and heads, starting from a flat blank 7,200 millimeters and plate thickness 220. And also plate roll, with variable distance of so the pitch of the bottom roll, three roll type, 6,750 tons. I think that there is always room for innovation and sustainability. Facin Group embodies this spirit by offering to the market three leading brands like Facin, Boldrini, and Roundo. Our challenge today is to achieve the highest level of efficiency in any kind of uh, machinery that we produce? Uh, well, I can definitely say that we are in very good hands. Uh, but before we move to the main subject of this webinar, Reno, I, I wanted to ask you something. Uh, we have seen a huge interest in this webinar and many registered people from all over the world. Uh, why do you think this is? Well, Javier, let me start by saying that most manufacturers of pressure vessels, truck tanks, silos, and other kind of uh, tanks and pressure vessels purchase the dish heads and then they weld the component to their roll part. Let me tell you that the demand is huge and dish head manufacturers are getting overwhelmed. With the pandemic, the deliveries, particularly internationally, has been disrupted. And uh, there is now a new line of thinking about manufacturing locally. And I do believe this is driving uh, our interest to this webinar. Perfect. Um, 
So we will focus on this uh, concept and more during our webinar and explain in detail <coughs> what we are doing to achieve efficiency in our machines. In the meantime, let me show you, uh, let me show to our viewers our group's manufacturing capabilities. Certainly, Javier, let's start from the real facts of our capabilities and our facilities. Wow. Uh, during these days, we have been discussing all over the world about the impact of COVID-19 on the world economies and on, on the, the industrial production, production after the restrictions applied to contain the pandemic. So, Reno, wh what do you think about the vertical production structure? Javier, this is a real big thing. During the last decades, many industries have organized their supplies by outsourcing from the market. It has been understood very clearly now when the market collapsed and many companies could not follow their production schedules and supply chains were not performing that outsourcing can be risky in such a market condition. As you have seen in the company video, at Vaccine we have a vertical integration. We start with plate profiling, fabricating, machining, and we can do internally turning, milling, boring, and polishing. We found out that having this in-house has been the greatest support for our resilience. Furthermore, we have the full control of quality inspection, pre-shipment commissioning, testing, and creating for shipment. It was a wise decision to keep vital and critical production stages inside Facin. This allowed us to keep working and also to acquire new orders as we can have a better control on the delivery and generally on scheduling. Reno, let me, let me ask you, and well, this is a tricky question. Now that the situation is generally improving worldwide, wouldn't you rather outsource parts from the market with a wider variety of cost opportunities? Javier? Certainly, this is an opportunity that will be always available when Facin Group production will be saturated. In my opinion, we learn a lesson that being highly, highly dependent from supply market, it is not a resilient solution. And the sustainable balance is necessary between internal production facility and the market supply. Uh, now we will hear from Massimo Avigo, uh, which is the, the manager of the service department of Facin. Uh, Massimo, during the peak of the pandemic, many companies were closed, but many others, like ours, were still producing. Uh, what was your experience with clients asking for spare parts? Clients normally require spare parts with quick delivery. 
especially if they need additional tooling or accessories to do new jobs. Many customers inquire about our capability to prepare and ship new parts. When they realize that we could take part from our stock and put them right away in the machine shop for finishing, they were really appreciative that we haven't stopped our production. It was just great to be able to satisfy several inquiries during the pandemic and to get such positive feedback from our clients. At the end, this is a target for anyone working in the service. So, uh, Rino, uh, we will now focus on the main topics of our webinar. Uh, what should I know before investing in a new dish headline? Um, how do I get the fast payback on my dish headline investment? I hope that you have studied last night about dishing and flanging process. Javier, you can bet I can even tell you the difference between a press and a flanging machine. Well, I think that one fits rolls and the other fits dice, but I'm not sure which one. <laughs> of course, uh, well, Javier, apart from joking, I think that I'm DNA engineer for heads production, and my experience is fully available at the Facine organization and to its customers. Uh, Reno, uh, we are now ready for the first main question. Uh, if I were a client, what should I know before investing in a new dish headline? At first, Javier, there is not a common rule. As the best for one client, it is not the best for all clients. Uh, Bruno, I, I think that we both agree on your assessment. Tell us how to get uh, the best solution for a specific customer. As a first step, it is very important to make the preliminary approach to the customer's needs. The prefeasibility is the most important stage for the proper definition of the correct machine. Let's ask Andrea Comparin, Senior Sales Manager of Facin Commercial Department. Sure. Um, hi, Andrea. Can you introduce yourself and then explain uh, to us what is generally the client's preliminary approach? Hi, this is Andrea Comparin. I've been working at Facin since 2011. And I had the opportunity of traveling throughout the world for the company. But I follow mostly Northern Europe and some Mediterranean countries. I also joined the sales team for relevant projects all over the world, from Australia to South Africa, Middle East and Far East. Generally, we deal differently with the inquiries coming from new clients that is planning to start a new production line, from clients already experienced with presses and flanging machines. For the new clients, we have a detailed procedure to define the, their technical needs. We assist our clients for the complete definition of their new production process explaining from the beginning what really mattered for them. So, Andrea, can you give us an example of uh, this procedure? A normal inquiry comes with the diameter, thickness, and most of the time with plate quality specifications. We define with the client the shape of the heads and the production standard, DIN, ASME, GHOST, and we start setting the very first parameter the maximum and minimum blank, flat disc, and the related thickness. What we must guarantee is the set of final head parameters. Andrea, uh, what can we actually do for our customers? We have the largest range of machinery for head production, and Boldrini and Facin together are capable of covering any customer need, from 2 mm up to 300 mm plate thickness. We have such a big variety of configuration of machine that for one model size of flanging machine, for instance, we have the following option. General head and cone production uh, with center hole. Special cone production. We have a special model up to 12 meter diameter and 35 millimeter thickness. General head and cone production without center hole or machine convertible with or without center hole and with or without upper beam. So Andrea, all these different configurations in just one model? Yes, and my job is to get the right proposal for the client. This process might not be immediate, as we need to start an internal technical evaluation 
and a pre-feasibility analysis to define advantages and disadvantages for the different solutions. But something else that we have, the same machine could also manufacture heads in warm condition for aluminum, titanium in range of 270, 500 degrees, up to hot, 1050 degrees. Andrea, it seems you have a big responsibility with your new clients as you have to guide them through many different technical parameters. You're right. And sometimes our job is not limited to the definition of the head forming line. We are the only group in the world with such a big variety of machinery for tank manufacture, including section bending, half pipe bending, vertical automated line for storage tanks, and naturally any kind of plate roll. The fascine around us together have the widest capability of plate rolling, three and four rolls, including plate leveling. Andrea, thank you very much for participating to uh, our webinar. Uh, should you need any more information, do not hesitate to contact uh, Andrea directly. So we have been talking about new clients, but what about uh, the existing clients and their inquiries for new machines? Let's ask uh, Federico Bonfogo, Senior Technical Sales Manager of Fachin's Commercial Department. Uh, hey Federico, uh, welcome to this very first uh, webinar. Can you introduce yourself and tell us what is generally the client's preliminary approach? Hi, this is uh, Federico Bonfogo. I've been working at Facin since uh, 2009 and I had the opportunity of traveling in many different uh, world regions, North America, Middle East, and naturally many countries in Europe. We have clients all over the world and uh, some of them are coming back uh, to us in a span of time of over 40 years. It is a big responsibility for me when uh, I have to deal with such long-term clients as they are the living reference for the good satisfaction of our machinery. Great. Uh, Federico, can you tell us then about your recent clients and their industries? We have to think about two main group of clients. The first one is the head producer for its own product consumption. The second is producing heads for the market. Their needs are different if we look at the production rate of the equipment that has to be balanced with the production cost of the product. Normally, the, the first group buys the equipment to satisfy the technical needs of the range of products. And just to make an example, I remember a client in India dedicated to the tanks for cryogenic storage. A very recent client from the USA has chosen our solution for the manufacture of uh, food grade stainless steel tanks. Another famous trailer tank producer in the Emirates purchased our production line. What I mean is that for every specific inquiry, it is very important that we explain the production process for dishing and flanging, and especially the proper tooling. For stainless steel, we have special alloy rules designed to eliminate the risk of ferrous and carbon contamination. This kind of raw material is very expensive, but at the same time, it's very cheap. Uh, but Federico, how is it possible? I mean, how could you explain your assessment of being expensive and cheap at the same time? This is the process line of here. And uh, although it is a higher initial investment, the special rules for stainless steel are improving the surface plate quality and they do not contaminate the stainless steel based material. The result is a much faster polishing process, which uh, results in uh, speeding up the production and a drastic cut of uh, finishing cost. If you think about the environmental impact, the application of the special alloy rules reduce the energy consumption of the polishing process. And if uh, pickling is uh, in any way required, it is carried out with less aggressive chemical solution. Thank you, Federico. I am sure that you made the point very clear for us. But what about the features of the machines? As I mentioned earlier, we have the widest variety of models, and this is a good start when uh, making the proposal to our client as we have a solution ready to display. And we are always ready for new challenges since the research for new processes to cut the production cost remains our main target. Thank you, Federico. Thank you for participating to our webinar. Uh, should you need more information, do not hesitate to contact Federico directly. Uh, back to you, Reno. So how do I get a fast payback on my dish head line investment? 
Uh, Reno, uh, at the end, I think that this is the, uh, I guess, the most relevant key driver. Javier, you're asking something very important. Many times we see proposals from our clients. And the first side, they just look like they are a list of brands and components used to manufacture the machine. We are a machine manufacturer and we care, of course, about components, but our target, it is not reselling pumps, it is not reselling bearings, valves, or electric motors. What we have to sell is the performance, and we have to guarantee the performance of our machinery. Our machine has to be a profit-making unit for our clients, and again, a profit-making unit. Uh, Reno, uh, let's make it simple then for our viewers. How do we get to a, a sustainable investment for our customer? We start from the performances of the machine and the production output. We are investing in new software to increase the data output of the machine in a way that our clients will have the machine linked to their network and they will have the possibility of checking from back office how many hours the machine was active, how many hours the machine was running in production, the total daily production. In some cases, it will be possible to upload production cycle directly from the office to the machine and also our target to, to check the final production cost of dishing and plunging, including the energy cost applied for each stage. And also, we have to be predictive for the maintenance of the machine. It will be a modern and updated way to comply to have a better footprint in the production plant of our clients and to reduce the carbon emission and to protect the environment. It sounds very interesting, Reno. Uh, could you please explain what else we could offer to our customers? Javier, we are very flexible to adapt to our clients' needs. And for many decades, we have manufactured many different types of press dies for specific needs. The right press tooling might reduce the production time up to 30-40% and in the total dishing time. And also, it can reduce the thinning. A typical example is when we press aluminum plate, some kind of diameter and radius require to change three to four dies. And the time to change the dies, it is much less than the total time if we were not doing this process. So at the end, we save time. Using the right tools, we also reduce significantly the, the thinning. And you said, why that? Because uh, we don't overwork the material. And saving the material, it is the first target for a client. And uh, also, we, we may save intermediate heating process because if you can control the thinning, we don't need to add extra expensive heat treatment. I think that Marco Massensini could tell us more about his experience. So, Marco, uh, uh, can you tell us about yourself and your experience in the support process to your clients? Hi, Javier. I'm very dedicated to the support of our clients, and I recently had a few cases that we studied and we carried out successfully. I joined the Facim family four years ago, and I come with a process engineering degree. I've had a great chance to grow my capabilities following very interesting tasks. One client with a market activity of 25 years producing equipment for pharmaceutical industry and food and beverage had developed its own equipment. I analyzed with them their production steps and finally we came out with a new machinery and new processes. The final result was a significant production cost reduction and our client was very satisfied since obtained a higher added value product to be offered in the market at a better price.
Another recurrent client in the USA asked to replace an existing equipment after 30 years of service. We made production forecast with the new larger equipment and more versatile features. At the time of the final commissioning at the client workshop, we even exceeded their expectations and this was our greatest satisfaction. Marco, thank you for your support, and I wish you many new tasks. Uh, should you need any more information, do not hesitate to contact Marco directly. Uh, Rino, back to you. Uh, when would you recommend a hot process instead of a cold process in the head manufacturer? We have to think about metallurgical issues and plastic deformation. We have materials that can be formed in both cold and hot condition and we choose hot forming many times to increase the forming capability for higher thicknesses. In pressing, we may also choose the hot process to reduce thinning and to cut the manufacturing process time. We have a very successful experience with the dish press and manipulator to press plates up to 160 millimeters in, in hot condition. In other cases, the heat delivered to the plate is necessary to avoid damages on the material. For example, aluminum, where we have to heat the plate up to 250 degrees, 270 degrees to avoid any cracks. In other cases, titanium. If you don't heat titanium up to 500 C, there are no chances to form titanium without damaging dramatically the material. Thank you, Reno. Uh, let us now hear from uh, Diego. Uh, Diego, can you introduce yourself and tell us about uh, customers' requests? Hi, this is Diego Morbini. I've been working at Facin since 2005, and I visited many countries during my time at the company. But I now follow mostly the Chinese market, Far East, and Oceanian countries. I also support the sales team in relevant projects from the technical evaluation of special <coughs> equipment to tailor-made solutions for different fields of applications. It's very important to start with a proper definition of our clients' needs, as this is the key to the right proposal. I've got experience in selling and forming line to customers that manufacture pressure vessels and also cryogenic tanks. In Vietnam, for example, we were successful twice with a client that produces ads for the global market. Uh, so, Diego, uh, in, in your opinion, what is a key factor of your marketing strategy? I think that our clients do consider the support we offer, from the proposal to the after sales. We build up a confidence based on the long experience of the group in design and manufacture of air forming line, and additionally, all the expertise that we can provide, adding other machinery to the production line. So, in other words, Diego, uh, you're saying that the integration of a variety of machinery for different production processes is a very positive matter. Yes, of course. We are prepared to transfer the necessary technical information to support the client for the final decision. If required, we may also offer the complete manufacturing line of tank or pressure vessel including support for definition of the complete production cycle. Uh, Rino, uh, there are so many different models of presses, manipulators, and naturally flanging machines. Why? Some machines look very similar, but at the end, the production process we can record has significant different results. The easiest way to understand is to check the geometrical capacity of a machine. But then we can see that specific configuration could be a time saving and time is money. Uh, Rino, I would like to show some pictures. Uh, would you like to comment? Surely, please. Well, you can see uh, in this picture a layout drawing of a typical dish impress with manipulator. And this is a specifically a machine with a, a pretty big daylight of eight meter and a thousand ton force. 
In this other picture, we can see a flanging machine designed to make heads without center roll, very suitable for high alloy material and the stainless steel. And uh, this is another different configuration of flanging machine, is a machine open frame with center roll. This uh, is designed for heavy duty and heavy wall plates up to 50 millimeter. And uh, this uh, small flanging machine, it's a small but powerful because it has interesting features. It can work without the upper beam. It is very fast. It is uh, very versatile, especially to make a conical shape, tilted and uh, with vertical axis of the cone. But at Facin, we are not only uh, dishing and flanging manufacturers, we also manufacture uh, an incredible variety and range of plate rolls. And uh, you can see in this uh, drawing, a design for a plate roll is a 6,000 ton force machine with variable axis uh, of the bottom roll. And uh, you can see the sturdy design is like a, a big press in order to have the highest accuracy while rolling. And uh, you see now the actual machine built, not only the drawing, and uh, you can see there are some uh, uh, shields for protecting the machine from excessive irradiation because this machine can also roll hot plates up to 1050 degrees. And uh, this is uh, one of the latest generation of uh, Facin flanging machine is uh, with electric drive and inverter and you can see from the back part uh, the internal part of the mechanical and the control of the horizontal cylinder. So uh, one relevant application is the construction of uh, truck tanks. Uh, we have received many inquiries about uh, different shapes of these heads. Uh, could you pl please explain our system? Well, Javier, there are different methods to build truck tanks. Let me start with the oval and elliptical section type. You can see in this picture we have uh, the layout of a uh, very special press is an hydroforming press that is designed to make oval, elliptical, and multicenter heads. And uh, you can see in the next slide uh, the specific part produced. And uh, being formed with the hydroforming, the stresses are very even, and there is no part of the material that is uh, overworked and there are no damages on the surface, and it is also a very fast process. Uh, as we said, we have also the capability of doing CNC plate roll, for roll type, uh, specially designed to make the shell part of the truck tank. And in this case, the top roll is designed with some special grooves that are necessary when we roll shells that uh, are already welded with the inside the stiffeners. Or we can even uh, make shells uh, elliptical shape when the machine roll plates that are already pre-machined with holes and pierced. We have so many different configurations and models, as we might see in the following uh, pictures. Uh, what is the technical reason of such design variety? Javier, for any different design, there is a, dif there is a reason. Saving production time, first of all, and optimize the process line. Let me explain going to the pictures. This machine is uh, the smallest we have in the range, is a six millimeter up to four meter diameter flanging machine, electric drive, very, very effective machine, and uh, special for simple tank manufacturers. We have a similar machine with a device studied to flange a, a conical shape, uh, tilted. And this is for uh, uh, food industry, for example. 
This other machine uh, is a combination of a machine without center hole and with center hole. One part of the machine can be disassembled in order to reach higher uh, diameters, uh, or it can work uh, without center hole, and it is very effective when we work on uh, stainless steel blanks. This is a typical configuration of a machine with center hole. This is uh, with electric drive and all the most modern control for the hydraulics. This is a similar machine for higher capacity. It can be also supplied in the configuration uh, with and without center hole by removing one portion of the upper beam. And, uh, this is a unique piece of equipment. It is a, a flanging machine in a configuration that can flange components up to 12 meter diameter. 12 meter diameter is a, is a 40, 40 foot. It's, it's a very big diameter. And uh, with a plate thickness that is 35 millimeter. It has a very special clamping system that does not require any man operation in the lower carriage. We can also have the, wi the, the wider variety of capability in order on working on plate thicknesses. Uh, in this uh, specific case, we have uh, a head done with a thickness of 65 millimeter, and uh, this is uh, done with a special machine that uh, can make components up to 80 millimeter in cold. You can see uh, very well in this picture what is the massive wall of the head compared to the hand of the operator. And here you can see how massive is the machine that today is still the highest capacity machine in the market, it is uh, 340 metric tons with uh, 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 an incredible capability of making hats without center all. So uh, what about the technical uh, reason of uh, different press design and application for the automatic manipulators? Javier, we can press parts from 250 millimeter diameter up to 10 meter diameter. And in some cases, we can also look at the specific client demand. We can also recalibrate finish heads, or we can even make very long segments for larger spherical field tanks. Any custom design can be done by our technical department, and we have presses that can cover the whole requirement of the industry of tanks and pressure vessels. With this tiny press, 150 ton, it's a very fast equipment, very suitable for small components. This is a 200 ton press with a CNC control with a manipulator design also to make parts of a small diameter. This is a 300 ton press, it is a typical for a tank producer and also for trailer tank producer. This is a 600 ton press for heavy walled material and uh, with automatic manipulator. In this layout, you can see what is the, uh, the, the uh, combination of the crane and the press uh, to press long segments to make uh, spherical field tanks and a manipulator to make the crown. And uh, this is the typical design of the automatic manipulator that fits in our presses and in many other presses. When we are talking about the uh, very big diameter of hemispherical he heads or very big diameter even of uh, elliptical heads, we have the possibility of doing that with uh, the technology of crown and petals welded together. Okay. In this case, uh, we can design 
the process, the complete process, in order that with the press we can do the segments and we can do the crown. We have also presses a C-frame that are very suitable for recalibrating uh, heads and very suitable also for recalibrating hemispherical components. Um, so, Rino, uh, wh what is the most difficult task in manufacturing machinery capable of warm and hot working? Javier, we have to consider three different aspects. First, the design of the machine. We need to protect the part of the machine for the excessive irradiation. Second, and very important, we have to protect the worker and the complete process line around the machine. Okay. Third, we need the controls of the machine very accurate to avoid the thinning and damages to the material. We have done the widest span of application for warm and hot forming in the head and tank industry. You can see in this picture there is a very thick wall component for uh, the nuclear industry. Uh, this is a special configuration of 32 millimeter flanging machine with hot protection and also the possibility of tilting on the side of the upper beam in order to make a very high and, uh, and complex component like cones or asymmetrical cones. This is a larger size also with the hot protection to make uh, heads up to 50 millimeter thickness. Uh, so, Rino, I understand that hot working is very important in many applications. Uh, could you explain more about this subject? Certainly, Javier. Let me comment the following picture explaining the advantages and the peculiarity of hot forming process. This is the, the Rotex, the hot spinning machine. Using this machine, we can make hemispherical heads, we can make uh, conical heads, we can make ASME elliptical heads starting from a flat blank because with the one machine we do the crown and we do the flange area. This is a special configuration of dish impress designed to work uh, hot blanks exactly like working with cold blanks so we designed with all the protection, with better kind of control, and uh, this press, of course, can use larger dies in order to reduce the process time. You can see one phase of the process, and uh, you can see that the piece is still very hot and will reach already a good shape. You can see now that the piece is cooling down and the shape is uh, practically finished. And here we are the last steps of the process. So the return of the investment and the performances of head forming machines. Uh, Reno, how would you approach this subject? Javier, the range of the Boldrini Facin machine is actually the widest in the market. We are able to guarantee any solution for any material, any kind of carbon alloy steel, any kind of stainless steel, and the family of the duplex. But also, we can work on titanium, copper, aluminum, clad plate. So the life cycle of an investment is also linked to the productivity and to the scheduled service of the machinery. Uh, Massimo, can you tell us about the new improvements in your department? Hi Javier, service is a very sensitive area as we are one of the responsible for machinery, for a testing before a shipment, up to the units already installed since decades. We have a file for thousands of machines and we don't stop, we constantly doing improvements. A WhatsApp quick contact center for instant and additional to technical improvements for remote communication with existing and new machines. This is a cloud-based service connected through a smart box installed in machine cabinet. 
this smart box is also designed to upgrade all equipment and to monitor some functions. Thank you, Massimo, for participating. Uh, should you need any more information, do not hesitate to contact Massimo directly. So now it is the time for the Q&A section of the webinar. Uh, first of all, uh, thank you for all your questions. Uh, we will respond some now, and the rest we will be respond uh, personally. So, uh, you ready, Reno? Oh, yes, I am. Please go on. Okay, all right. Uh, let, let us uh, pick some questions. Uh, this is for from Dave from Australia, uh, far away. Uh, he wants to know, uh, the capacity of your machines uh, are based on the final product or base material? Well, Javier, generally the capacity of the machine is in the market for the base material. At uh, Facin Group, we design machines to have a, a higher capability in order that we can compensate the gap from the base material thickness to the finish thickness of the actual product manufacturer. So, in principle, it is the base material, but we have a higher allowance with our machinery. Fantastic. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Reno. Um, uh, now we have a question from uh, Vipul from uh, Bangalore, India. Um, he's asking about uh, tooling. He's asking, uh, do you have a specific tooling for aluminum? Well, uh, we don't need a specific tooling for aluminum, as aluminum is a very heterogeneous material in respect of the material that we use to make our rolls. So there is no problem of friction of, uh, of sticky material on the surface. So the answer is that our tools are very proper to roll aluminum. Fantastic. Fantastic, Reno. Uh, so uh, uh, our third question. Uh, this is from uh, John from uh, Ireland. Uh, what kind of uh, control do your machines apply for uh, thinning? This is a very important question, as uh, sometimes in the market uh, uh, this is not considered in the proper way. There are ways to consider thinning reduction, like gap control, like pressure control, what we have to apply is to make a combination. So we have in our flanging machines the possibility of using the gap control, but also as a backup, the pressure control. And this will reduce the thinning where you have wrinkle during rolling. For presses, and especially for hot working, we have a position control and pressure control in order to avoid any overworking on the material while pressing through the dies. So now we go to um, I, uh, our final question. Um, so this is from uh, Antonio from uh, Spain. Uh, gracias, Antonio. Uh, how fast is the die chain uh, change on your presses? Well, the die change uh, is uh, always uh, a, a different kind of problem is the first setup in the morning or it is a die change during the process. Uh, we had different solutions in the past. We are gonna run a new solution where we can change very quickly the dies, even during the production cycle, as uh, we will have the possibility of having extra movement of the manipulator and uh, we will have the chance to change dies in a very safe condition and the total process of changing will require about uh, 15 to 20 minutes only. So, uh, let, let me see uh, some questions that we have received. Uh, uh, Shan from Texas, uh, USA. All right. Uh, is it better a machine with center hole or without? Oh, they're both better. It, it depends what is the production of the client. If the client needs to make thin stainless steel or anyway material where it is not economical uh, to plug the hole after the production, definitely the best way is to buy a machine with a configuration without central. 
In many other cases, the components, they need anyway a hole, so it is not necessary to buy a machine to make heads uh, without center hole. But again, we have to study the specific case. Perfect. So, um, uh, second question. This time, this is from uh, Dave from uh, Canada. Uh, could we go on a hot flanging on existing machinery purchased for coal forming? In principle, yes. We have to check the kind of machine. We have uh, to analyze uh, the possibility of uh, retrofitting protections. But we did this in several equipment. So depending the size and the model of the machine, we can consider this possibility. Fantastic. Uh, now we're going to have a third question from uh, Juan Martin uh, from uh, Mexico. Gracias, Juan Martin. Um, he's asking, is your system keeping record of production time and cost? Well, as I said, we are doing something more advanced. But yes, in, in principle, uh, many equipment that can control the production time. Adding the cost, it is something that we are making in a new software, in a new configuration. Thank you. And uh, this time, uh, Mariano from uh, Lima, Peru. Gracias, Mariano. Uh, he's asking, can you press plates of different thicknesses at the same time? And the answer is, yes, you can. Because we can do a sandwich where we put the thinner plates in between the thicker plates. This is uh, typically used when pressing uh, stainless steel. Fantastic. So um, we go to our uh, last question. Uh, this is from uh, Gabriel from uh, Romania. Um, he says, which is the smallest machine for coal forming stainless steel dish heads? Well, as I said before, the smallest machine we have is a six millimeter. But uh, that is not the smallest in terms of thickness, it's also the smallest in terms of diameter. We can uh, flange uh, uh, components uh, with a diameter that is uh, slightly less than 300 millimeter. Wow. Thank you, Reno. So, uh, time flies. Uh, we have arrived at the end of our webinar. Uh, thank you all for your participation and your questions. I am sure you will want to know more about our products, but more importantly, uh, how we can support you and your project. So do not hesitate to contact any of us for more information. So thank you very much. Uh, we really appreciate your participation and, your, and the time that you have put on it. And see you at our next webinar. Thank you. See you all.